Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Hope you are all well and safe. Uh, it's back end of the day here. It's uh, a little bit dusk. We're going towards dusk. The sun's setting. Uh, I've finished for the day and I've been painting in Art Rage. I've been doing an oil painting. Uh, yesterday, Special K and I went out for a walk and uh, the colours were absolutely stunning. We've got all the autumn golds and browns and oranges and reds and it was just spectacular uh, we went to a place called uh, beacon hill so a uh, beautiful walk a little bit of a woodland area not much of a woodland but just a little bit with some bales of hay thought that would make a nice painting done it in art rage and i've been using thick paint uh, tubes of paint palette knives and uh, one single multiply layer. So lots going off in this painting to get to this result. Let's just see how, how I went about it. I don't know if you can hear the rain outside, but it's absolutely uh, teaming it down. Uh, anyway, Art Rage. I thought this subject here is screaming out to be painted. So I'm I'm thinking oil painting. I'm going to use a, a, a normal round brush initially, just to um, sketching or painting some shapes. Of these uh, hay bales. I'm still using my uh, Cintiq Wacom Cintiq as a an Intuos Pro. I uh, I much prefer that these days. Kind of gone off drawing directly on the canvas, uh, drawing on the canvas, as it were, like a, a real painting. I like this sort of remote thing where I can see the screen all the time and I'm not having to um, move my hand out of the way uh, to see what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, I'm liking it and I can't see any day soon where I'm going to get back into um, into into using the Cintiq like a, a Cintiq so shadows lots of shadows in this brush uh, in this brush in this painting I'm going to try and sort of rough them in now where I think I want them to go Got this wicked shadow there uh, where the hay bale is being shadowed by a tree. This was in a wood. I've never ever seen hay bales in the middle of a woodland area before. It's quite unique. I've got this big bold colour. If you saw the video on um, colour theory, I'm sort of going with a complementary colour scheme of blues and oranges with this one, is what I'm thinking. This sort of tree here. Around this wall. And then these lighter coloured ones, I'm going to put them in at the same sort of shape at the minute. Like that. I kind of like that. Yeah, and then we've got this lovely orange. I'm not going on with bright orange yet. That's a... Stick with sort of browns. Maybe a bit lighter. I can see me getting thick paint out here and um, or getting some when I say thick paint uh, tubes of paint and squirting them on in the foreground to get real thick effects this is one this is why I keep three or four apps on my PC all the time and I'm not I don't just 
use one and i know um i'm convinced that i would have a more successful youtube channel if i just sort of followed one program all the time and stuck with that instead of flitting uh, between different programs but i think you, you've got to have um you, you've got to have different programs on your your uh, device whether it be an ipad you know a, an android tablet or a pc or mac you've got to have different devices uh, different apps so that you can um produce different effects because as wicked as critter is you can't do this not yet i'm sure it will come in the future and i know people will say to me steve you can you can now get a 3d uh, brush effect um by choosing one of the rgb color brushes or whatever the, uh, the effects the channels uses the channels and you just go in there and you tweak the brush settings and you choose um light and color and then you can just change the color and oh, man yeah it does work but it's such a faff unless i'm doing it wrong unless i've got something completely wrong it's 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 still it's a little bit faffy i just want to get in there like this and and not having to worry about that and just sort of click between whatever brush i want whatever color i want and it's dead easy and that's why i like to use different apps all the time bit of that there this was at a place called um, Beacon Hill in Leicestershire uh, and I only live literally 10 minutes away in a car and I've never been there before I've mean, said that I've only lived uh, where I live now for a year but I've lived in Leicestershire for 40 years not that far away only sort of 20 minutes away and I've never even heard of this place and um, it was Special K's daughter uh, Phoebe that recommended it to us or recommended it to me then you should go steve because it's it's wicked it's a good place where you can uh, go and get material it's a bit too red uh, for painting so we went yesterday actually because you know what honestly since lockdown I, we haven't been out much and i'm so fed up of looking at the same photos going through the, the same photos looking for something to paint and I'm just sort of going over and over again, thinking yeah, I've not painted that one. I could do that one in a different way. So it was really nice, really nice to get out there and uh, take the camera and just get lots of pictures. We had a lovely walk, uh, just me and Special K. It was, um, it was you felt safe, you know, because of the. Uh, social distancing thing because it was in the country there's uh, you know it's easy to keep your distance although were, there did seem to be a few people that didn't care oh, God, man. um but on the whole it was you know it was nice it was nice and easy to keep that distance from everybody else so it was lovely yeah uh, we had a, a really nice walk around I've got a stack of uh, photos to use. And this is just one of them. Uh, and this, this blew me away. This, I think, was the most remarkable thing I've seen for a long time.
don't know why I put that kind of white colour on there. It shouldn't have been white at all, really. That one's proper sunk into the ground, isn't it? I need to bring, bring my ground level um, a little bit higher, I think. Because they must have been there a while, these hay bales. They've got sort of grass growing and weeds growing around them. Uh, yeah, that's better. I'm deliberately keeping that thumbnail really small so I can um, can't see too much detail in it. More in shadow, but perhaps a bit warmer. Yeah. Add a bit of depth to this and less. A bit more pressure. I'd like to see a bit more blending. neutral that's better I think it needs that that yellow initially and then to sort of kind of overpaint it I think that's working quite well Get this one in as well. Yeah. So I'm sort of changing it quite uh, radically now. I'm going from sort of abstract colors that I thought I might have liked and I'm looking more at the photo and thinking yeah I quite like the photo the colors that are in the photo why am I changing them so I'm, I'm trying to get a bit more um, true to life I guess that's a nice gray And I'm going to glaze this. I've got I've got some ideas. I want to uh, maybe just warm it up with a bit of glaze. Just going to zoom in a bit. I think just on this, so I can. Uh, I'm going to make my brush a bit smaller. Just 
And then, um, shadows in. Kind of all blue. Careful. Can't see like a. I mean, that's a massive exaggeration, isn't it? Let's keep it grayer. Right, I'm going to be quiet now because I think this one is going to be something that I want to put quite a bit of time in. So it's, it will be a long video if I don't um, shut up. So let's just have a little bit of um, a nice relaxing music. Right, I'm going to come in with some tubes of paint now. I just want to get like look, some real texture down here. Lots of colour. In the foreground. And it's a bit of an experiment. I'm just going to see what happens. Let's get some blue in as well. Nice color. I might put that in the in the. Um, might put a little bit of that up here as well. Yeah, that's uh, nice. Just to you know keep the harmony going, as we say. 
a few branches in here. See? That? So I've got, I'm avoiding this now. Now I've got it squirted on. Let's get the palette knife. Start, let's spread this paint around a bit. See what we can come up with. And this is really nice about our rage. That you can get these lovely thick thick paints and by doing this sort of crisscross with a palette knife and I'm using just the odd out smudge um, you can get this broken color effect which is really really cool it sort of gives the the impression of these broken leaves and I might go in just dab in a bit more paint on I, I like this purple. And you notice I've, I've kind of created a, a zigzag that takes you almost into this, into this um, picture. Let's get a bit more paint squirted on there. And there. I mean, I could go for a different palette knife. I could try a different one, but this is exactly what I wanted, really. Should I use... I'm tempted to get get the tubes, you know, and just squirt a bit, a bit around here. Um, get some of this. I need some of this blue. Just in the shadows, underneath those barrels of a palette. Oops. I love it when I get when I get to do something like this where I'm just experimenting. And you know what? If it doesn't work, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's you can you can play safe all the time and just keep churning out painting after painting, and there would be uh, what's called pot boilers. Uh, I used to have a lecturer that used to call them that you know if you was if you was playing it safe you would get accused of doing pot boilers where you just sort of do the same thing over and over and over again You've got to keep it vibrant and exciting. I'm actually going to get the... Um, we've got the thick gloss. Bump the pressure up. Soften these out with a brush, I think. That palette knife. I wonder what other effects we've got. Let's try something else. This one. Let's look at the presets. Uh, why have they gone up there? I 
That's weird. Put that away. I didn't want to click on that, did I? Here we are. Um, we've done the odd out smudge. No, heavy blur, no, instant blur, just blend color, knife. Knife edge trail, let's try that. Mm, not convinced. No, I prefer the odd out smudge, I must admit. I'm going to go back to that. Just did like a little blobs there. I think what's happening, I'm liking what we've got going at the front. With this sort of broken up effect. Maybe just come back to the brush. Um, where's it gone? There we are. But this is too busy. I need to just sort of smooth that down a bit look at the photo we've got a lot much busier action of leaves and things in the foreground as we get more distant it recedes more into a pattern of lines and I think we need to try and capture that if we can I like this because it looks a bit like the lights uh, falling on them. So do I do this with a knife? Let's try and just, just um, smooth this out a bit with a knife. And then, and then I can go back into it. See what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want it too smooth though. It looks a bit, a little bit false we need to now get back in there and paint some bits in oh what did i pick there oh watercolor brush wasn't good was it Ashing a lot of water on my oil painting so we've, we've got some sort of softening and blending now I'm going back over and uh, put in a little bit of a tiny bit of detail back in look, but in a much more linear fashion than before. I'm liking this blue as I'm still liking this blue colour. I'm using the lightest touch to get these thin lines because if I try and press on, I get a real thick brush stroke. It's not what we want, right? That, I, I will have to sort that out, I think. Not quite right. Didn't want them sort of flat. Bottom. Yeah, that's it. And this purple up.
você. Nice. I'm liking this so far. Get some of this yellow. That down here. And I did say I was going to put a glaze on the top of this. So I think I'm going to try that now. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to set the blend mode to multiply. There we go. And now I can start painting with a really big brush and, and just put a subtle glaze over this um, for the shadows. I don't know what I'm going to go by. Yeah, it might be a bit too dark. I've got an absolutely massive brush. Let's just uh, a bit smaller. So I've got this kind of um, gray purple color. I'm using create these shadows. And I think that really does sort of add to it. Makes a, a massive amount of difference. Yes. We go like that, and then in the foreground, we're going to do it. Like that. Yeah, I like it. Oops, making that brush a bit smaller. Dry stone wall behind that. Cool. 
might just try getting that palette knife. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, no, it's not, is it? Might work on that a bit. That's just a. If it does or not. It might do if I put a much lighter colour in. Push that in as well. I'm going to leave it like that, yeah. Now, I want one more layer because I just want to put in a few little highlights in the foreground. Maybe not quite as bright as that. Just make the brush bigger. Um, it's a little bit too bright. It's amazing. That's probably better. Just to put a bit of a sparkle. We'll try the palette knife on this. This might be a mistake as well. Not always a good idea to blend when you've just got one colour. Uh, a clear background, as it were. That's it. I think that, you know what? That's it. That's cool. More browns, I think. We're going to be there. Ready browns. Um, brush. Give it a square head. And I'll pop a few of these little more leaves just Dr. a bit closer to the hay bales. I think we're there, you know. I think that's it. I like that. I'm going to sign that. Um, I'll use this brush. Just make it a bit smaller. Use the colour I've got on the brush now. There you go. So an autumn scene using art rage, thick oil paint, tubes of paint, uh, glazing layers, the lot going on. Just a really nice painting experience. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I've got lots of videos like this. And I'd love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.